show of hands, how many of you guys have been hypnotised before? Let me see you guys, a couple of you guys, awesome. How many guys have been hypnotised before? So uh, I would argue each and every one of you are already hypnotised, in fact that's why you're here. And what will tend to happen is over the next 45 minutes, I'll pop you out of the trance that you're already in, and then by the time you leave, you'll go back into your trance. Would that be okay for you? <laughs> Anyhow, just as a show of hands, I, I do this uh, all over the world, and I get asked the same questions normally when I'm trying to urinate in the toilet, okay? So let's just get rid of those questions right now. Just as a show of hands, how many of you guys think that hypnosis is fake? You can be honest, it's okay, you're not going to hurt my feelings. A few of you guys think that this might be fake. You'd be absolutely right, yeah, you think it's fake? It's a normal first question I get asked. Somebody will watch a show for 45 minutes and they'll say, was that real or was that fake? Well, of course it's fake. I've been faking this for 14 years successfully. I've actually been getting away with it and nobody's caught me yet. <laughs> okay, anyhow. Now, here's the next question I get. People ask me, they say to me, I just don't know if I can be hypnotised. Now, you wouldn't know if you haven't been hypnotised, would you? But some people think, I just don't know if I can be hypnotised or not. I don't know if I would make a good candidate for this kind of show, okay? So let me give you a couple of top tips as to what hypnosis is and the sort of characteristics that we look for. Now, how many people uh, drive a car? Probably most of you drive a car. How many times have you been sat in your car when you go to the same journey over and over and over again? You use that same road, that same journey over and over and over again, and for no unparticular reason, you went past your exit by about an hour. You woke up and you went, crap, I've got to turn around and go back. Yet you use the same journey. What that is, it's called highway hypnosis. It actually is a medical definition. And what actually happens is your conscious mind stops paying attention. Your conscious mind makes decision in the right here, right now moment. Shall I go left, shall I go right? The subconscious mind has learnt how to drive a car, and that's where your habits and behaviours are. So your, your subconscious mind's thinking to itself, they're not paying attention, crap, I'll just keep driving until we run out of gas. And your conscious mind doesn't know what it's thinking until you bump itself away and go, where am I? And also, how many times have you been driving in your car when you get to your destination and you actually had no clue how you just got there? Yeah, that's not hypnosis, because you were texting. <laughs> No, it could be hypnosis, okay? It is indeed hypnosis, it's just the, the mind drifting away, okay? Another examples of hypnosis are when people get glued to the television and you'll hear yourself shouting at them, you know, John, John, and they're watching SpongeBob and you can't get nothing out of them. So if you have kids, you'll know that that symptom of hypnosis there as well. Now, hypnosis has been around for a very long time. Actually, it's been around for about 4,000 years. It was invented by the Egyptians. And actually, the word hypno means sleep, and gnosis means knowledge. And that, in fact, is true. Anybody studying psychology or education? or Yeah, see, those kind of people studying those kind of things will understand what I'm saying, okay? Now, some of the things about hypnosis also. In my day job, I do help people stop smoking, lose weight, remove, remove fears and phobias, which is why I work on cruise ships. I make a shit ton of money doing that on cruises because everybody wants to go to the buffet and they want to gorge themselves and then of course I can get clients out of it. Anyhow, so that's how that works. It does actually work. If anybody does smoke or want to lose a few pounds, then actually hypnosis is very effective for it. Now some of the questions I also get asked about hypnosis is some people ask me, well, to be hypnotized, don't you have to be just flat out stupid? <laughs> And you see, here's the weird thing, the opposite is true. It's been proven to make a good hypnotic subject, you must have above average level of intelligence. Because it stands to reason, I'm gonna be asking to focus, relax and concentrate for about an hour, listen to the sound of my voice and my voice only and block out all sounds around you. So of course, if you know deep down, deep down that you are truly dumber than a box of rocks, just don't come up and volunteer for the show, it's fine. <laughs> Because we're looking for the smart people, that's it, see? Those that can focus, relax, and concentrate, listen to the sound of my voice, block out other sounds around them, and just let go and have a good time. But most of all, what we tend to look for in a hypnosis show is people with fun personalities, okay? Where are all the fun people? All right, we have a bunch, that's very good. Because obviously, if you were a boring person, what would happen over the next 90 minutes, you'd just sit up here and you'd just go fast asleep and uh, would be watching paint dry, actually. So those with a good sense of imagination, those that are creative, those that like to have a good time and cut loose, this is the best seat in the house, okay? So, if you do know that you're not gonna make the mark, just don't come up, okay? Here's another rule. If you are the kind of person that needs 500 pills every morning just to feel normal, you really shouldn't come up because we don't want any hidden surprises, okay? This is not a therapy session. This is, after all, entertainment. All right, good. 
Anybody needs the toilet and they can't hold it, again, you might not want to come up here either. It's very uncomfortable when we have some real weird stuff going on up here. Now, one of the things some people ask me, they say, well, if I come up and get hypnotized by you, won't you just get my deepest, darkest secrets out of my mind? In other words, will I get your ATM pin number? Will I get all your secrets? Will you blab them out into the microphone and everything else? And will I make you do things against your will? Well, here's the thing, if I could do that, I wouldn't be here. I'd probably be using this for evil, robbing banks, or doing something that pays a lot more money than this. Okay, so I can't actually get any information out of you against your will. You have like a safety valve that stops me from tapping into all your darkest, deepest secrets, okay? So don't worry about when you come up here. You will have your own built-in safety net that will stop you, sir, yourself from being forevermore immortal up here or forevermore the absolute star of the show for years and years and years in the wrong way, okay? And plus I won't let you do that. So it is a family-friendly show and we'll all have fun together, okay? So finally, when people come up and volunteer for the show, there's a couple of things you need to know. Please do not come up if you're going to play Battle of the Hypnotist. What I mean by that is you're the kind of person that's sitting there going, all right, I'm going to test this guy. I'm going to see if he really can hypnotize me. I'm going to come up, I'm going to fold my arms, I'm going to sit up here. I'm going to block and deflect all suggestions that he gives me. And I'm going to see if he can get into my mind. Well, you will win, because I haven't got time for that, okay? So don't come up trying to block me. You need to come up being receptive. You need to come up being willing and able to be hypnotized. And I must have your consent to be hypnotized, okay? You must have no injuries, illnesses, ailments, complaints that you can blame on me or the school. And above all else, of course, you must have a fun personality, okay? So, finally, some of the final questions I get asked is, some people say to me, well, I don't know if I can do it and I don't know if it, what it feels like to me. So let me just give you an example, each and every one of you put your hand up like this. Each and every one of you put your hand up like this. Good, make a perfect circle. Make a perfect circle like that. Wiggle the tops of your fingers, make a perfect circle. Look at my circle, look at yours first too. Make a gun like that, make a gun, make a gun, make a perfect circle. Wiggle the tops of your fingers, but look at mine and look at yours, good, and make the peace sign and make a perfect circle. Look at mine and look at yours and just place it right there on your chin. That's fine, so your chin is here. You see, all hypnosis really and truly is, it's just the power of suggestion, okay, that's all it is. I give you a suggestion and you have a natural impulse and a desire to follow the suggestions I give you. That really is and truly what hypnosis is. So I'm going to be asking to lend me the use of your imagination. If you really don't have an imagination, just don't come up, okay, because it's hard to get an imagination out of somebody that doesn't have an imagination, okay. If you can't speak the Queen's English, and you don't understand my English is your English, your English is mine, and we speak the same English, you might have an issue too, okay, some language barriers there. But if you can hit all those markers, and you feel that you have receptivity, and you feel you'd make a good volunteer, then you would be the star of the show that I would invite up here. Now, just for those that haven't seen a hypnosis show before, just quickly, what happens is we start off with 20 people, roughly, okay? Sometimes we get people hypnotized in the audience, and that's perfectly normal. And then what I do is, by the power of numbers, I whittle it down to a Round about 10, okay? Because here's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the cream of the crop, the top of the heap, the best of the best. What that means to me is those that can focus, relax, and concentrate the most. They will make the final cut for the show. So sometimes after a show, I'll always get somebody come up to me and they'll say, you know, the guy second in on the right, you know, they weren't hypnotized. I say, thanks very much, buddy. Can you tell me how to do this a bit further and a bit deeper? Because I obviously missed them. Now, just so that you know, just so that you guys know. I don't, keep any, I don't keep anybody up here that is not at the right level of hypnosis, okay? So do understand that. There are different levels of hypnosis. Some of the things that are very weird is somewhat, some people can be just laughing, at, laughing hysterically and yet they're hypnotized while the person next to them is fast asleep, while the person next to them is dribbling, and the person next to them just got their eyes open staring at you. So it really is hard to, to tell, okay? But one thing I've learned over the years is you really can't pretend and act hypnosis. It's very difficult to act and pretend it because most people don't know how to or what it is. So if somebody's not at the right level of hypnosis, I will just release them back into the audience. It doesn't mean that they were the village idiot. It just means I can't use them for the show here and now. And it also doesn't mean they can't be hypnotized in the future, because they could be, this might not be your moment right now. There's a lot of things that come into play as to whether you can be hypnotized or not, right down from how much sleep you've had and what you've had to eat and just what your mindset is currently. But all I would ask you to do is keep an open mind, be receptive, and you'll make good volunteers. So as a final test, just sit in your chairs. Don't worry, we'll exactly from your seats. I want you to get your hands out just like this. Some of the cool dudes are thinking, oh no, here we go, what's he going to do now? Stick my hands together, lock your hands together, 
clasp your fingers interlocked. And I just want you to squeeze the palm of your hands, okay? And this is just a test of suggestibility, that's all it is. And if you've got your hands, just squeeze them tight together. And I want you to lift your index fingers roughly about an inch apart, just like that. And I want you to push in on the palms of your hand, and I want you from this point forward just to listen to the sound of my voice and my voice only. And I want you to stare at the gap between your fingers. Don't look at me, don't look at anybody else, and just stare at the gap between your fingers. I want you to lend me the use of your imagination as you stare at the gap between your fingers. I want you to push your palms together, and I want you to feel your hands becoming closer and tighter and tighter and closer together. I want you to find your fingers becoming closer, tighter, closer, tighter, closer together. The more you try and push your fingers apart, the more they draw closer and tighter. It's almost as if magnets have appeared on the inside of your fingers. The more you try and push your fingers away, the tighter they become. The more you try and push, the tighter they come together. Tighter locking closer, tighter, tighter together. The more you squeeze the palm of your hands together, the tighter your fingers become. Locking, locking closer, tighter, tighter, closer together. Closer, tighter, tighter. The more you draw them away, the gaps are becoming closer and tighter and tighter. You're fighting it as hard as you can, but they're becoming closer and tighter and tighter together. And then the second but not yet on fire, they're locked together, completely fully locked, and in a second but not yet, and five. Good. Some of you guys have the fingers locked. Some of you are like, no way. <laughs> and that's cool. Just release your fingers. Give yourselves a round of applause for trying that. Just a suggestibility test, that's all, to put you in the frame of mind for hypnosis. Now, just finally, just before we go, just to let you know, there's no harm that can ever come to you during hypnosis. In fact, it is used for therapeutical benefits. In fact, it's been proven that one hour of hypnosis does indeed feel like four to six hours of uninterrupted sleep. So if you guys do and truly want to get a power nap, this is the best seat in the house, trust me, if you do make the final cut. And here's the reason for that. When you're dreaming, or when you're asleep, should I say, you're actually, your mind is very active. That's why at three in the morning, your eyes pop open, you go, oh, I've got to write that down. That was real good. Or at three in the morning, you'll find yourself chasing the dog down the road in your dream, and you're wide awake all of a sudden. Well, in hypnosis, that doesn't happen. What happens is you can hear every single thing I'm saying and telling you. You just have a natural desire and an impulse to follow my suggestions and directions. That's the difference. But your mind is completely flatlined. If we were to put your finger on a device and chest your biorhythmic pattern of your brainwave, it would be flatlined, even though your senses are raised by 400% under hypnosis during normal waking state. In other words, if you have senses, this is a good place to come and to increase them, okay, up on stage. So if you'd like to volunteer for the show, just a couple of the rules before I ask for the volunteers. Just remember you must have a fun personality, you must be able to be receptive and willing to want it to happen. Don't waste the seat from somebody else if you don't feel that this is for you, but if you want to have the wonderful sensation of hypnosis and be at the start of the show, just raise your hand and show me we're going to give you a seat now, so right immediately around there. It's going to be 14 or older, unfortunately. Come on up, sweetheart, lovely. Come on up, come on up, come on up, come on up. Let me see your hands. If you have a fun personality, come on up, come on up. All right, so yeah, I know, I know you've got it, you've got this. Come on up, sweetheart, and in the back there, come on up, come on up, come on up. Come on up and come on up. Let me just see what space we've got real quick. Come on up over here, yes, 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 yes. Give me a second, let me have a look. Let's see where we are on the seating front. Uh, let's see where, are you sure? You wanna come up? You wanna come up? Can we have a seat here? Okay, two on the end, come on up. Who have we got? Come on up, right there. You want it? Come on up. See where we're at. We're probably just about got there. Let me have a look. And one more. Okay, give the volunteers a round of applause. They're going to be sharing their personalities with you. Perfect. Welcome to the show, and thank you for volunteering for something you know nothing about. That's awesome. Now, just quickly, before we get you settled and get you comfortable, if you have anything in your pockets could be damaged, destroyed, or broken, if you've got any chewing gum in your mouth, please release and remove all that from you. You can give it to a friend. You can put it over the side. But either way, do not have any cell phones in your pockets or anything like that. Make sure you've got no gum. Make sure you've got no handbags. That's cool. And just for you guys in the audience, if you want to film this show on your cell phone, you're more than welcome to. All I would ask you to do is please, if you do upload it to YouTube or anything like this, my agent goes nuts if random stuff just appears up there. Same with photography. All you have to do is tag me in it so we can just double check and make sure it's okay to go on the, uh, the web, so to speak. We also are rec recording this professionally from my friend at the back. If you want a copy of tonight's show, you're more than welcome to contact me, and it'll be available in high definition. Also, during the show, when I do hypnotize the volunteers, if you have your cell phone on you, make sure it's on vibrate. And also, if you want to go to facebook.com forward slash incredible hypnotist, just find me. Any of the decent comments that I read after the show will be mailing you some really cool t-shirts from the tour that we did last year. 
they are awesome. All you have to do is go on Facebook, just write some comments on our Facebook wall, Incredible Hypnotist, and we'll read them afterwards and then we'll mail you out some real good stuff if you make those comments. How are you all doing? Nod your head if you'd like to be hypnotized. Nice, okay, each and every one of you stand up. Just gonna reshuffle the pack. So on the end, come this way with me, just swap with this young man here. Excellent, come this way, just a young lady. Just, uh, just the other one with the hat on it, perfect, come this way. Let's see, just, uh, let's put you right in there with him, just swap on over. With him, so him, yes. Him, I know, it's tough. Go, go over there, get over there. <laughs> All right, just take the glasses off, give them to somebody that you know. Wow, good looking bunch. Should have seen them last night. <laughs> You accept it, man. Uh, let's see. If anybody's sitting next to anybody that they know? You know each other well? Come this way, that's good. Thanks for being nice. Awesome. Let's put you right with this young man here, swap on over. Anybody else? They know each other well? Good. No, they might come with me. We'll put you on the end, just come over there, swap in there. Everybody take a seat. Excellent. Right, then just a couple of rules for the volunteers just before we get underway. A couple of things you. Is that injured in any way? It's not bad. I, I have to wear it when I drive. I forgot to take it off, but I'm good. So you're faking your injury? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, is there any private investigators in here? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright, good. Now, here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen. It's very important that you listen to each and every word I say from this point forward, okay? You must be fully engaged and listen to every single word I say say. Now it's very important that one of the things that can block hypnosis is if you start listening to the sounds around you, okay? So what you have to do is actually block the sounds around you out as if they no longer exist. Also don't worry about whether I'm standing to the front, to the back, to the left or to the right of you, just listen to the sound of my voice and my voice only. Whenever you focus out to the front, just block out the audience as if they no longer exist. However, during the show, if I do whisper in your ear, leave the stage. It just means I love you, but I can't use you for the show, and it just means without any worries, troubles, or fusses, stand up without interrupting the person next to you who probably are concentrating, and just leave the stage, okay? Please do not talk to anybody. Don't look around, don't shift, don't fiddle. The person next to you is probably going to be leaning on you, using you as a pillow. It's perfectly normal. Get used to it. It's going to happen. All right, cool. So just lean back in your chairs. I just want to give you an example of what hypnosis feels like, since a lot of you don't understand. Now, on the count of three, I'm going to ask you to stare straight ahead. And on the count of three, I'm just going to ask you to simply close your eyes, but on three. One, two, two, three. Make the first one. This is just for the hypnotized volunteers. Each and every time you hear the audience give a massive round of applause, that will understand it will immediately send you deeper. Every time you hear the audience give you a huge round of applause, it will immediately always send you deeper. Now just two final words and instructions for you. Every time from this point forward you hear me say the word sleep, no matter whether your eyes are open or your eyes are closed, if ever you hear me say the word sleep, no matter whether your eyes are open or your eyes are closed, if ever you hear me say the word sleep, your eyes will immediately close, you'll sink down in your chair just like rag dolls. If ever you hear me say the word sleep, your eyes will immediately close, you'll sink down in your chair just like rag dolls. Should ever I shake your hand, your eyes will immediately close, you'll sink down in your chair just like rag dolls. Now ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce myself to the volunteers, I'd like my volunteers to have a chance to introduce themselves to you. They all did a wonderful job. For the volunteers, one, two, three, three, eyes open, fully alert, welcome back. Good to see you guys, nice to see you all back, it's good to see each and every one of you. So one of you guys made the friend. What was your name, sir? Taylor. Taylor, where are you from? Rocky Mail. Nice to see you, Rocky Mail. Oh, sweet Taylor, just relax. What's your name? Peyton. Hey, where are you from? Wilmington. Wilmington, let's give you a hand, babe. Just sleep, close your eyes, relax. Just like a rag doll, loosen them, sinking down even further, resting peacefully. How are you doing, honey? What's your name? Ebony. Ebony, where are you from? Richard, Virginia. Which one? Nice to see. Which one's your longest hand? The longest hand. Which one's your longest one? That one? Oh, sleep, just relax. Let it go, so let it go. Just relax deeper, even further. Even relax deeper, even further. How are you doing? Good. What's your name? Delaney. Delaney? Delaney. Delaney, you know how to relax? 
Yeah. It's perfect. Do you know what a boomerang is? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to throw a boomerang up out into the ceiling. The minute it touches you on the head, it'll send you to sleep. You understand? Okay. Watch this. Go with a look at it. It's going to be over there. Ready? Good to see you, man. What you doing? This room. Is <laughs> so you can How are you doing, my friend? I'm all right. Hey, what's your name? J Jamar. Jamar? Yeah. Do you believe in hypnosis? You know how to relax? Oh, no. No, no. Let's do this. How are you doing? Oh, okay. What's your name? Ashley. Ashley, put your longest finger out. <laughs> Turn it towards you. Touch yourself on the forehead. You'll go to sleep. It's <laughs> really cool. It's awesome. How are you doing? Hi. Hi, what's your name? Alexis. Alexis, I love that name. What's the butterfly, Alexis? We're doing a very good job. We're doing an excellent job. I'm just going to tap you on the knee, take a seat back in the audience for me. Take a seat back in the audience for me. Take a seat back in the audience for me. I don't know about you yet. Take a seat back in the audience. Take a seat like Hey, how are you? Good. What's your name? Kara. Kara? Yeah. Where are you from? Swansboro. Swansboro, you believe in hypnosis? No. Don't believe in it. That's all right. <laughs> Push down on my hand. Push down on my hand. Did you say which hand? Yeah. Good thought process. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Push hard. Push hard. Push hard. Push it. Push it. Just relax. There you go. Keep your eyes closed. We're still loose and limp. Just like a red door. Could you come over here for a second? How are you doing, my friend? Good. Where are you from? Wilmington. Wellington. What's your name? Nick. Nick, I love you, man. Nice to see you, but just, just relax, Nick. Just relax, my friend. How are you doing? Good. What's your name? Brandy. Brandy, nice to see you. Put your hand out like this. Turn it like this. Turn it like that. Put it up like that. Put it like this. Sweet. Just relax. Hi. What's your name? Thomas. Thomas, where are you from? Ohio. Ohio, Thomas. Yeah. Look up, look up. Sweet Thomas, close your eyes. Rest and loose and limp. Let it go, my friend. Loose and limp. How are you doing? Put this hand up. Just like this. I've got you, Alexis. I've got you. <laughs> What's your name? Jamar. Jamar, look over there. Just relax, Jamar. One, two, three, eyes open, just you. What you doing, bud? Ah, uh, sleeping. <laughs> sleeping on a lady. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> What's your name? Samantha. Samantha, lovely name, I see. Sleep, Samantha. <laughs> just Let's give you volunteers a round of applause. We're going to be sharing their personalities with you. Sleep dust. Look at the dust, get ready. Watch the dust. As soon as it hits you on the head. You got someone on, you'd have to just hold on. Just relax. This is just for the hypnotized volunteers in a second, but not yet. You're going to listen to every single word I say becomes truth, and your truth becomes reality. Now, in a second, I want you to understand you're about ready to have a real good night's sleep. I want you to understand, in a second, on the count of three, you're going to realize your favorite pillow, Mr. Snuggy, Mr. Huggy, is right next to you on three. You're going to grab that pillow, grab that pillow as close as you can. You're going to give it a good squeeze and go back to sleep on three. Keeping your eyes closed. One, two, and three. Grab your pillow, grab your pillow, grab your pillow. Keep your eyes closed. Grab your pillow, grab your pillow. Grab it, it's next to you. Grab your pillow, grab your pillow, grab your pillow. Grab your pillow. As you're having a real nice sleep, I want you to understand something very unique about yourself. 
just for the Hippotimes volunteers, something very interesting, something very unique about yourself. In a second on the count of three, you will indeed sit upright no matter where you are. You'll sit upright no matter where you are, but you'll keep your eyes closed. I want you to understand in a second, but not yet, you're all small goldfish getting ready to swim around in a small goldfish bowl. You want a few moments, I want you to understand, you can use your hands, use your face, use your legs, use any part of your body to take a wonderful swim. I want you to understand, you'll keep your eyes closed at all times. You'll be a lovely small goldfish getting ready to swim around in a small goldfish bowl. It'll feel wonderful. You'll keep your eyes closed. On the count of three, you'll be swimming around that goldfish bowl, sitting upright with your eyes closed. One, two, and swimming, 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 swimming
the more you sniff, the better you feel. That is a lovely, lovely smell. Get in as close as you can. It smells absolutely wonderful. Oh, that is awesome to get a good sniff of that. And three, eyes open wide awake. What on earth are you guys doing? That is ridiculous. What are you doing? Bring your chairs over here, come on, bring your chairs over. I can't mess around up here, we haven't got time for that. Stop sniffing people. Look at his chair in there, that's it. Stop sniffing people like that, that's crazy. That's crazy. Come on over here, sweetheart, let's get you over there. You've got some, been sniffing. Oh yeah, over here, like this one. Here, come on over here, right here. Get him right here, that's right. Just get yourself right in there, that's good. Just look at the hand each other, look at the hand up there. Sweet, just relax. Deeper, further, relaxing, all the way. This is just for the Hippo Times volunteers. Each and every suggestion I give you from this point forward will be personal and only personal to you. This is just for the person I'm touching now and only the person I'm touching now between the end of the show, between now and the end of the show. Just for the person I'm touching now, you're going to realize you and I had a conversation before the show and you and I set some rules. And thank you so much for agreeing to this. And I want you to understand that you know, as well as I do, there is to be no laughter during my show, okay? Now, thank you, laughter police. If you do indeed hear anybody laughing during my show, you're going to tell me, SHUT UP! Because there's no laughing allowed during my show. Now, if you understand, during the show, if anybody laughs during my show, you can tell me, SHUT UP! There's no laughing allowed during my show. Now, if you understand. Good. Thank you. Just relax. Well, there's any laughing during my show, which... Just for the person I'm touching now, I want you to relax. I want you to know something from this point forward. Every time you hear me say my name, Richard Barker, no matter what you're doing between now and the end of the show, if ever you hear me say my name, Richard Barker, you'll immediately stand up and shout at the top of your lungs, I love Richard Barker! As soon as you don't say anything, I'm going to go. I want you to understand. I got this. Just relax. Just relax a second. You're going to realise during the show, if ever you do indeed hear me say my name, Richard Barker, between now and another show, you'll immediately stand up at the top of your lungs and you shout, I love Richard Barker! And every time you hear me say my name. That's good. I've got a star player here. That's just for the person I'm touching now, as your last focus drifting <laughs> for I want you to understand that just for the person I'm touching now, your new name always was and always will be and always should be E-I-E-I-O. I want you to understand if you came in the room with the original name, it's completely vanished and disappeared. From this point forward, if ever I ever ask you your name, you'll simply reply, my name is E-I-E-I-O. Not your head if you understand. That's perfectly normal. Good. What else we got going on down here? You got any friend, Rich, yet? Shut up! Pretty sure. <laughs> We'll give this a go, this is interesting. For the person I'm touching now, I want you to realize from this point forward that every time you try and speak, you realize you speak fluent Chinese. From this point forward, I want to, thank you, I did it. I want you to understand from this point forward, every time you try and speak the English language, you understand English, however, you only speak full on Chinese. Chinese to you sounds something like, Not a head if you understand. Every time you try and speak English, all that comes out is Chinese. That's good. Shut up! I got it, I got it, so just take a break, okay? I got you. <laughs> Just for the person I'm touching now, I want you to understand if anybody shouts and stands up and yells up around here, I want you to understand as a member of the United States Marine Corps, you're going to tell them a shit down soldier! I want you to understand if anybody stands up up out here, any of the volunteers, if you see anybody standing up yelling, you're going to tell them a sit down soldier! I don't know you understand. That's good. Alright, let's try one more. It's hard to remember all these sometimes. I haven't got this young lady here, just relax. I want you to understand you have that common disease known as tongue fall out of mouth disease. I want you to understand every time you try and speak from this point forward, your tongue just gets in the way and flops and falls all the way blah, 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 out of your mouth. I want you to understand that every time you try and talk, your tongue falls and flops all the way out of your mouth, even further and even deeper. And every time you try and talk, your tongue just gets in the way and blah, 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 and just plops out of your mouth. I'll get if you understand. Just for your head. That's good. Perfect. Did we use her yet? Hello. Just for the person I'm touching now, I want you to know between now and the end of the show, if ever I ask you your name, just the person I'm touching now, you're going to realize your name has completely and utterly vanished. I want you to understand, actually, the only way you can get your name back is if you sing happy birthday to yourself. If indeed you do sing happy birthday to me, happy birthday to me, happy birthday to you, your name will reappear. Anything other than that, you just cannot remember your name to save your life. Not your head if you understand. Good. Didn't get this one, did we? Let's go for this. Just relax. And just for the person I'm touching now, you can realize you are the famous shoe thief of America. 
You're going to realise when your eyes open next in a few minutes, you're going to realise you have a natural desire and an impulse to steal people's shoes. <laughs> I want you to understand, when your eyes are open, you'll just naturally realise that all the volunteers up on stage have some wonderful shoes and you have a desire to steal the shoes. They won't resist, you'll simply steal the shoes and you'll hoard them in a certain spot only known to you. I want you to realise when your eyes open, you'll just crawl around, taking a few shoes, make sure you don't get caught, and I'll be ahead if you understand. Cool. So just, to just just double check what volunteers we've got on up here. Just for all the volunteers, one, two, three, eyes open. Hey, welcome back, everybody. Good to see you. Welcome. What are you saying, was buddy? Uh, yeah, yeah. Don't let them laugh during here. It's annoying me if they laugh. I really can't stand it. It's a nice one. Shut up. What was your name, Stella? Look at them. Shoes. Alex. Richard Barker. It's nice to meet you. Shut up, Richard Barker. I was just saying, I'm Richard Barker. It's really. Can you tell him to shut up, please? There's no laugh away. Shut up! What's your name? Crystal. Crystal, nice to see you, Crystal. Shut up! Painter? Painter? Painter Crystal? Taylor? Shut up! Crystal Taylor? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your name? Thomas. Shut up! Sit down. This one on the end is when I say Richard Barker, she goes. What's your name, Bob? I'm trying Let's go one shot. Perfect. What's your name, Jack? I'm trying Where are you from? Minjang. <laughs> Is that anywhere near Zingong? I saw one. And tell everybody. What do, you, what, what do you do typically over there? My Chinese, so I'm a slime I'm from 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 a slime I'm Does anybody know her name? Anyone know her name? What is it? What is her name? What is her name? Especially at the back as well, your name. See, in a Richard Barker show, there is no laughing oh, there. Richard Barker! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Okay, so just to recap, Alicia, is that right? No, what was it? Alexis, sorry, Alexis. Crystal. Crystal. Peyton. Peyton. Taylor. Taylor, we got them all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're brother, man. Come on. Is that your first name? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's your last name? Oh. <laughs> you 
can't help himself. He knows he knows he's doing it, but he just can't help himself from doing it. That's what's funny about it. Was, um, what's your middle initial, dude? So hang on, E I E I O I O. Oh. All right, you got it. How do you spell your first name, dude? E I E I O. Got it. Give him a round of applause. E I E I O. We got one. Perfect. All right, we got everybody. That's awesome. You guys doing great. Look at the hand, look at the hand. Sleep, just relax each and every one of you. Resting, melting, relaxing. Drifting even further all the way down. Resting. Now I'd like to give my um, boys and girls up on stage, very special gift. I'm going to give them a very special gift tonight. It's the first of many gifts. I'm going to give them a lovely Mr. Softy, Mr. Fluffy, Mr. McWhippy ice cream. I'm going to give these guys an ice cream. Now in a second, when their eyes open for the first time, they're going to see a lovely ice cream in their hand. When they do get that ice cream, though, they're going to realise it's 102 degrees up on here. They're going to realise the ice cream is melting and melting and melting. So they're going to lick it and lick it and lick it as fast as they can before it melts. Get ready with your ice cream cones. One, two, three. Lick it, 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 lick
just for that. So in fact, I'm going to give you a proper gift. I'm going to give you keys to the brand new sports car. And I'm going to give you a sports car. This sports car is such an awesome sports car. I want you to realize that when you sit in that driver's seat of that lovely red Ferrari, you will seriously feel the power of that machine. Now in a second on three, your eyes will open. You'll simply take the keys out of your pockets, you'll put them in the ignition, you'll get inside the driver's seat, you'll sit down getting ready to go, and you'll rev that sucker up. One, two, three! Look at that sports car right there. Get your keys out of your pocket, go ahead and put it in the ignition. Get ready to start it up. That is awesome, and let's go for a ride. Off you go, put it in gear. Nice, the country lanes of North Carolina. Feel the wind in your hair. Life is good to be driving. Look on your right hand side, there's the school bully. Let him know what you think about him. What a real one. Look on the left hand side, there's your family. Give them a wave. There's your family. Give them a wave. Awesome. Watch out for the left hand turn. Left turn, left turn, left turn, left turn, left turn, left turn, left turn. Carry on driving. Life is good. Get ready to go down the hill. Right turn, left turn, left turn, right turn, right turn, and carry on driving. Do your wind in your head, let's see how fast we can go. 75 miles an hour, 85 miles an hour, 95 miles an hour, 100 miles an hour, 110, 115, 120 miles an hour. Life is good to speed. 125 miles an hour. Life is awesome. The officer got you at a hundred and... The officer got you at 125 miles an hour. Here he comes, he's one of those new state troopers. Uh -oh. Now here's the rules in the state of North Carolina. If you have a good enough reason as to why you were speeding, he's going to let you off the ticket. If you do have a good enough reason as to why you were speeding, he'll let you off the ticket. If not, it's a $250 fine. Here comes the officer. Driver, put your hands where I can see them. <laughs> Freeze, driver. I don't have a reason why you're speeding. Why were you speeding? Uh, I, I'm dead. <laughs> Sorry, what? I'm, I'm, I'm dead. You're dead? This one, it's gonna sleep. I don't think I've ever had that one. I'm dead. Why are you speeding? Where are you speeding? So relax, I don't know what. Okay, just understand. Why are you speeding? I have an emergency. What? What is it? It's an emergency. You need a police escort. I would appreciate it. <laughs> Anybody we can call? No. What's your name? I'm not sure. <laughs> you been drinking? No. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Kelly. Kelly. My name is Kelly. Look at you, sweet Kelly. You're from the college down the road, ain't you? Yeah, sleep, close your eyes. Why are we speeding? I'm um, late. <laughs> what for? Birth.
are you speeding? Late for school. What? I am late for school. What is this? My other hand. Are you clinical? Am I what? This one. Son, why are you speeding? I had to get the groceries back to the house. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the reason to speed? <laughs> Got a lot of meat. <laughs> What's your name, man? E-I-O. Yeah, why are you speeding? I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Is that number one or number two? <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to know. <laughs> Just relax, I know. Why are you speaking? Um, I don't know, sir. You normally get one, one crier out of the bunch. My name is Officer Richard Barker. <laughs> Put your hands up or I see them. Now I'm Officer Richard Barker. Sit down, lady. Why are you speeding? I don't know, sir. I don't know. You want to take a $250 fine, huh? No. Well, that's not a good enough reason. I don't know. Well, you asked me why I was speeding, and I said, I don't know. Why are we speeding? I I was late for an important date. My my my, my mom, she's in the hospital. She's about to die. I, I need to catch her last words. Yeah. That's a good one. Just relax. Your hand down is confused. Go to sleep on a little journey. to you. You just do not like it. You will not punch, kick, spit. But you'll be rather offended every time you hear me say hypnosis, the person next to you has squeezed you right on the butt. Now, I'm going to explain just the process of what I'm doing, ladies and gentlemen. The volunteers come listen to Eyes open, one, two, three, and welcome back in. Now, here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen. I wrote a book about this subject, about the power of the mind, and the conscious mind, and how it actually reacts and interferes, or sometimes cognizantly runs together with the subconscious mind. And one of the things of the studies of hypnosis is sometimes... <laughs> It is, uh, sometimes, people do react to it in different ways. It's like some people, all of a sudden, they get, you know, in their mind, it's like they're on a somnambulistic level, which is like a, a sort of deep level of hypnosis. And then some other people, what's going on? Is on a deeper level. And that's the thing, is that you never know, and medically you can't prove what the actual different levels are. So I, I wrote a book, it's actually on Amazon, and it's in Barnes & Noble, it's called Secrets of the Stage Reveal the Guide to Hypnosis and Stage Hypnotism. What are you doing? Shut up! What are you doing? He pinched me. What are you doing that for, dude? I liked it. Hypnosis has some real weird things in it. What's the matter with you? He keeps pinching my butt. I tell him to stop it. Stop! 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you doing, man? You're pinching booties, man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We have a good time up here, actually. Just sleep, just relax. Each and every one of you, just rest and relax and sleep. Each and every one of you, sleep, just relax. Resting peacefully. Give them one more round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. The stars over the door. Sure. You guys ready for one or two more? Yeah. yeah. This is just for different times volunteers. Did you relax, Pete? Like, just relax, my friend. Just relax. Just relax. There you go. Now, I don't know if you know this, but every time I do a hypnosis show, what happens is my dance team follow me no matter where I go. Now, now these are the world famous dancers that you find in all the colleges and the university campuses right across America and Canada. And what I do is, I, these guys are worth thousands of dollars, and I'm about to introduce you to the world-famous hypnotic dancers. And when you do see these guys, you've got to give them rapturous applause. I mean, they used to typically be in front of about 40,000 people. So you guys are just a little bit on the small side, so you've got to make even more noise. And for the volunteers, you're going to realize when you hear this next piece of music, your eyes will open. You'll take center stage and you'll realize you are representing the United States of America in the dance-a-thon contest. You can dance like no one's business. You'll okay. take center stage when you hear this next music, you'll immediately lap up all the applause and dance your hearts out. Whenever I say freeze, you'll immediately stop. One, two, three! Give them a round of applause for one of the famous dancers taking center stage. Give them some love! They can dance! They've got the moves. Oh, wow! They've got the song. They've got the vibe. Give me what you've got! Dancers at all. In fact, you are world famous dancers, but you are 97 years old. You dance like old people. 97, one, two, three! <laughs> at all. You're going to realize when you hear the next piece of music, you are babies in diapers. You're six months old and you know how to twerk. One, two, three, twerking! Babies. Baby twerking. Baby babies. You know how to twerk little baby gaga. You got the mood, you got the vibe. Eyes open, follow up. Listen, what are you doing? Please. Trying to D-I-E-I-O, -E -E man. I'm trying to do a show here, buddy. You're really starting to annoy me here. You've got all kinds of weirdness going on, okay? Okay, man? Okay, Let's take a take a seat, buddy. You guys, take a seat. Tell you, you've got to stay in your seat. You can't do that, man. Come and sit here. You can't do that. He's got one shoe on. He's acting all weird like that. We've got weirdness here. We've got weirdness there. Everyone's acting weird. Take a seat there, man. Just relax. Just take a seat. That's weird. Each and every one of you, look straight ahead, look straight ahead, and sleep. Just relax. And go relax even further. That's just for the hypnotized volunteers. I want you to realize this is one of my favorite routines, by the way. You might as well keep your kids nice and tight. This one. Yeah. I mean it. Just for the hypnotized volunteers, I want you to realize something unique about yourselves as you just float, relax, and melt even further. I want you to realize that you've all become exotic animals. Oh my God. And by exotic animal, I do not mean pig, sheep, cat, goat, or something you find at home, or something you indeed find on the farm. By exotic animal, I mean something you find in Africa, something you find on safari, something you might see in the zoo, or something you might have seen on the Discovery Channel. Now, in a second, on the count of three, your subconscious mind will embed in it the animal of your choice. It could be a lion, a tiger, a gorilla, it could be a bear, it could be a flamingo, it could be any object or any animal of your choice. Now in a second when you hear this next piece of music, your eyes will open, your subconscious mind will really and truly embed that animal into your subconscious mind. You'll fly, you'll flutter, you'll crawl, you'll do whatever it is and take center stage on three. You will become those true exotic animals. One, two, three exotic animals take the center stage. Don't leave the stage. Freeze! Freeze, everyone, freeze. Alright, freeze. 
just got to find out what kind of exotic animals we've got up here to see. You. What kind of animal are you? Gorilla. What kind of noise that make? No. What kind of animal are you? A lion. What noise that make? <laughs> what kind of animal are you? Gorilla. What noise that make? <laughs> What kind of animal are you? Chameleon. Excuse me? Chameleon. What kind of noise are you? What kind of animal are you? A monkey. What noise are you? Nice, hold it up. What kind of animal are you? Okay, but what kind of noise that means? <laughs> what kind of animal are you? Like mamba. What noise that means? What kind of animal are you? A tiger. What noise that means? Sorry, what? desire, you have no anger inside you, I want you to realise that all your claws and all your teeth have been absolutely removed. I want you to understand you're soft, friendly animals. I want you to understand that hypnotist has an invisible force field wrapped around him, keeping him safe at all times. There's a reason for that, ladies and gentlemen. All the above has happened. You will not urinate, you will not spit, you will not grab someone, claw someone, you will not do anything. If you ever hear me say freeze, you'll immediately stop what you're doing. You will realize, however, exotic animals, that when you look out into the audience, and once you understand, you're going to realize you haven't eaten for about three or four days. You're absolutely starving and hungry. I want you to understand that your eyes open up straight into the audience, and I count to three. I want you to understand the favorite food of your choice is embedded in the hair of the audience members. You'll immediately rush off the stage, go and have a feeding frenzy straight into the hair of the audience members. The more you eat, the better you will feel. Now, I want you to understand, if you do come across somebody that doesn't have any hair, you'll have a natural impulse, a desire to kiss them repeatedly on the top of the head. If ever I say freeze, you'll immediately freeze and stop what you're doing. Exotic animals. One, two, three! Get that food, get it as much as you can, the more you eat, the better you feel. Get that food, eat as much as you can, as in the hair of the audience members. The more you eat, the better you feel. Get that food, it's right there on the front. <laughs> Fully alert. I want you to understand on three, you're no longer exotic animals, however, you do have Mexican jumping beans in your feet. Now, in a second, on three, I want you to realize you're no longer exotic animals, but the Mexican jumping beans will activate in your feet, they'll make you jump and bounce and bounce and jump all the way back into your chair. As soon as you take a seat, your seat will send you to sleep. One, two, three! Jumping, bouncing, bouncing, jumping, jumping, bounce, bouncing, jump. Jumping, bounce, jumping, 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 bounce, jumping, bounce, jumping, 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 bounce, jumping, bounce, jumping, bounce, jumping, 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 bounce, jumping, 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 bounce, jumping, bounce, jumping, 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 jumping,
just for laughs. Give a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, the stars of your show. I can't believe we're almost out of time. I have a whole bunch of real cool stuff to throw your way. Do you got time for one more? Yeah. Are you sure? Make some noise if you've got time for one more. Alright, I think we've got time for one more. Do you want it to be on the ridiculousometer? How ridiculous do you want it to be? Not ridiculous to ridiculous. Get ready. Ready? Okay, we got it ridiculous, and that's cool. Just for the men, just for the boys, just for the guys up on stage, put your hands in the air. Just the men, just the boys, just the men to boys, just the boys to men, put your hands up. If you don't know what you are, put your hand up. But just the men, just the boys, just the guys. Put your hand up in the air, just the men, just the boys, just the guys. Just the men raising your hands up in the air, just the men, just the boys. You're going to realise on three, when I do deep count to three, you're going to realise you're heavily pregnant. Just the men up on stage, you're going to realise you're heavily pregnant, you're in labour, you're about to give birth. On three, you realise the baby's coming out. You're having a man baby. <laughs> Only when I reach three, put your hands down. Just for the ladies, girls, females, raise your hand in the air. Ladies, girls and females, raise your hand up. Just the ladies, girls and females, just the ladies, girls and females, raise your hand up. Just for the ladies, you're going to realise you're all nurses. Oh my God. <laughs> ladies, you're going to realise you studied midwifery and you understand how to help man babies give birth. I want you to understand that you have studied this as registered nurses. You understand that when I reach three, but not before, you're going to see a bunch of pregnant men up on stage having a man baby. You're going to rush immediately to their assistance. You're going to tell them to breathe, tell them to push, tell them to push, tell them to breathe. You've got to get that baby out no matter how hard you try. You're going to realise you're going to run to their help. Tell them to push, tell them to breathe. On three, ladies, put your hands down. Now this is worth having your cameras out for. <laughs> this is the routine where legends are born, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> One, two, three! Oh my gosh, there's a bunch of pregnant men up there. Ladies, help me! Tell them to push, tell them to breathe. Look, help him right there. Tell them to push, tell them to breathe. Help him. Tell them to push. Doing it's highly embarrassing. Three. Ladies. <laughs> Seriously, take a seat, would you? That's just wrong. Take a seat. Guys, take a seat. What are you doing? Relax. You shouldn't be doing that in here. Give them a big round of applause. Give them all a round of applause. Take a seat there, my friend. Take a seat there, my friend. You shouldn't be doing that. And sleep. Just for relax. <laughs> Sleep. Now just before the end of the show, when I count up from 1 up to 5, all hypnotic suggestions have released themselves. I want you to understand, when I count from 1 up to 5, every suggestion I gave you has fully and frankly been released. I want you to understand, if your tongue kept flopping out your mouth, it no longer will. You will always remember your name and your real name will come back to you. I want you to understand, every faculty will be returning back to normal. I do want to let you know that you've been up on stage about an hour and 20 minutes. I want you to understand that one hour of hypnosis did indeed feel like four to six hours of uninterrupted sleep. I want to let you know you're ready to party all night long, but you will not, I repeat, not drink and drive. You will, however, have full of energy, full of beans, and you'll be ready to rock and ready to party. Now, you will understand also, the minute you leave this room, the minute you leave this area, the minute you leave this room, you'll immediately tell 25 random people outside that you slept with the incredible hypnotist Richard Barker. <laughs> as soon as you've told them, you've forgotten you told them. I also want you to know, just for the men, just for the boys, just for the guys, put your hands up in the air. Just the men, just the boys, just the guys, put your hands up. After the show, I want you to realise when you go back into the audience, just for the men, when you go back into the audience, I want you to realise if ever you hear me say the word hypnosis, when you go back into the audience, I want you to realise as soon as you hear me say the word hypnosis, you'll immediately hand me something valuable that belongs to you. It could be a wallet, a watch, a cell phone, keys, a watch, or anything that is important to you. As soon as you give me that valuable object, you've forgotten you gave it to me. However, if ever you hear me say the word hypnosis, you'll immediately give me something valuable that belongs to you again. As soon as you give me something valuable that belongs to you, you've forgotten you gave it to me. Could be a wallet, could be a watch, could be a cell phone, could be keys, anything valuable to you. Guys, put your hands down. 
Just the ladies, girls, females, raise your hand in the air. Ladies, girls and females, put your hands up in the air. Just for the ladies, if ever you hear me say my name after the show. Just for the ladies, if ever you hear me say my name, Richard Barker, after the show. Just for the ladies, when you're back in the audience, if ever you hear me say Richard Barker after the show, you'll immediately slap yourself on the button and shout, Yeehaw! <laughs> because you're all cowgirls. After the show, when you go back to the audience, if ever you hear me say my name, Richard Barker, you'll immediately slap yourself on the button and shout, Yeehaw! Because you're all cowgirls. If ever you hear me say my name after the show. Put your hands down. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you agree. These guys have been absolutely awesome. Yeah. You're really giving a big round of applause. Yeah. These were truly mega stars yeah. of the show tonight. Look out for one to five all hypnotic suggestions that release themselves. One, feeling refreshed, feeling alert, feeling alive. Two, feeling like you bathe your eyes in the cool mountain spring. Three, feeling then you rush back into your veins. Four, feeling better than you've ever felt before. And in a second, but not yet, when I reach five, all this applause is for you. Five eyes open, fully alert. Give them a big round of applause. Make your way back into the audience. Thank you so much. It was wonderful to meet each and every one of you. Make sure you got all the stuff you came with as soon as you have done. Make your way. Oh, some of you guys lost your shoes. There's a whole bunch of uh, the shoes down there. Somebody must have stolen them. Uh, make sure you got everything. There's a shoe here too. But once you got everything, make your way back into the audience and soon. You... And just make your way back into the audience, that's good. You know, what's really strange and really odd about hypnosis, some of the really strange things that I've found that happens to people that are hip... Oh, thanks, man. Cheers. Yeah. Thanks. Take a seat back in the audience. Thanks, bro. Love it. Oh, thanks. Got it. It's a hair. Yeah, thanks a lot. Thanks, man. Cheers. No, you can take a seat back in the audience. It's mine. No, cheers. Take a seat. Wonderful. Love it. Yeah. That's okay, buddy. That's all right. I got you. Yeah. And um, that's the other thing about hypnosis, is some of the times, some of the things that uh, what actually happens in the subconscious mind, is sometimes some of the feelings and the thought processes are about it is, uh, oh jeez, I love it, nice, thanks man, it's a wonderful phenomenon, it's really... Now sometimes up here people do lose their wallets and stuff like that. We've got a guy up here who's lost his stuff. Uh, Caleb O'Neill Stevenson, is it Caleb, first name, Caleb? Caleb O'Neill? Are you Caleb? Are you Caleb? Dude, you lost your wallet up here, dude. Sometimes it falls out your back pocket when you're running around like a... Huh? Chewbacca. Chewbacca. But do me a favour, try not to lose your wallet. When, when it falls out your pocket sometimes, if you lose this, you're going to be in trouble, okay? You, you understand? Awesome, man. Hypnosis. And that's one of the real good things. Cheers, man. Take a seat. That's awesome. Appreciate that. That is really nice. I love that. Thanks. Cheers, man. That's lovely. How are you doing, buddy? Oh, good. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Is it Caleb in here? Caleb? Caleb? Stevenson, is that you? Dude, you lost your wallet up here. Try not to, you've got to put it in your pocket. Make sure you don't lose that, okay? Get, like, grip it or something, because you can't, if you lose that, you lose your driving license. That's all right, man, hypnosis. Is actually some of those things that do happen to you. It's awesome, brother. It's really, really cool. Oh, thanks, man. How you doing, man? Yeah, thanks. I got you, it's really nice. Thanks, man. And here's the other thing, is during the Richard Barker shows, I'm just saying, people lose their stuff during the Richard Barker show, and uh, what I find is most of all they lose valuables when they uh, they hear the word hypnosis, and that's what's really oh, strange about that. That's cool. Oh, cheers, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah, thanks a lot, buddy. I'll take your shirt too. Let me have your shirt. I love your shirt. Yeah, that's, I'll take that. Yeah, that's, that's, give me that shirt. Yeah. Oh, thanks, man. Cheers. Take a seat, buddy. That's awesome. Give our volunteers one more big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen.
stars of the show. And if you count from one up to three, everybody return back to normal, all the men, all the ladies who realize when I count from one up to three, particularly the men, you're going to realize something unique. When you look out onto the stage area, you're going to realize you're actually about to have a bromance with a hypnotist. On the count of three, you're going to realize he didn't indeed steal all your stuff at all, but on three, you're going to realize you have that natural desire of love towards a hypnotist. Three! Okay, everybody, come back back to normal. That's good. Guys, you left your stuff up here. Come and get it, buddy. Love you, man. I don't, I'm just looking out for you, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is all yours, yeah, you left all this up there, man. Okay. I love you, brother. Wing Chong Ching Chong? Say what? Ching Chong Matana. Alright, cool, man. No worries. Love you, man. Hey, make sure you got everything you came with. Anybody else out there that left some stuff up here, make sure you come and get it. All this stuff is... Is that all yours? This is his money right here. Dude, you left all your money up here, too. I, I'm just going to steal it in broad daylight. That's okay. Dude, you left your glasses up here, which is why you're having a problem. There you go, but I got you right there, man. You got some... Oh. I love you, buddy. I love you, man. Make sure you get all your stuff. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that is all I've got time for. I hope you enjoyed yourself. My name is Richard Barker. Give us a round of applause. We're going to have Coach Chris come on down and say a few words. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you had fun. We'll see you the next time over. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for Richard Barker one more time. Thank you guys for contributing to student activities. You make great, uh, Cape Fear a great place, so look for the next show. Thank you all. Have a great night.